Hey folks, this is Vince with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to check out Hive, the video game adaptation of the tabletop game. You can find this game on Steam and other places for 10 bucks should you want to pick it up for yourself. So here is the main menu. You can play a game, view the rules, there's stats here. Under settings, you'll be able to adjust the music volume, the effects volume, and there's also the ability to toggle full screen and tiled display modes. Now, for those of you that have never heard of Hive before, just to quickly sum it up, it's a two-player game, and both sides will have an army of insects. The goal will be to completely surround your opponent's queen bee before your opponent can do the same to you. Each piece, or each insect, has their own unique way of moving. So it's sort of like chess in that sense, but um, it's a little bit more freeform in that there isn't a board, though there are some movement rules that you'll have to observe. Now, just to quickly show you what I mean, uh, let's go ahead and check out the rules section. It's pretty in-depth, so I don't want to get too much into this, but um, here you'll be able to see the objective. Like I said, the idea here is to completely surround your opponent's queen bee, and you can even use your own opponent's pieces against him. In this illustration, um, Black's queen is uh, surrounded by three white pieces and three black pieces, so in this case, Black would lose. Playing the game, again, there's some movement rules to consider. Uh, one really important one is uh, by the end of your fourth turn, you have to place your queen beyond the table or you lose. Um, another rule is that when you're placing a piece onto the board, the uh, board basically starts out blank and you'll be adding pieces to it in the opening play. But as you add pieces to the board, uh, like I said, there's no quote unquote board per se, but as you add pieces to the table, you'll have to add them in such a way to where they are adjacent to your color, but not adjacent to the enemy color as you can see here. Moving along here, the game will show you how each piece moves um, and how everything is supposed to play out, like the queen, the beetle, the grasshopper, the spider, the soldier ant. Like I said, each piece has its own movement rules, so you want to come here and uh, either refresh your memory or learn how to play the game because if you don't know what each piece does you're sort of going to be lost while you're playing the game. You've also got some expansion pieces here. You have to buy these separately as sort of a DLC. Um, I am familiar with some of these. My uh, Hive Carbon Edition, which is uh, the tabletop edition, has uh, some of these uh, insects in there. So I am familiar with the I think the ladybug and the mosquito are the two pieces I have. I'm not exactly sure about the pill bug. You've also got some other rules down here, like the end of the game, freedom to move, tournament rules, that kind of thing. So, like I said, if you're not familiar with Hive, definitely check this out first, because otherwise you're going to be lost while you're trying to play. Okay, so I think what we'll do is click on the play button here. And as you can see, there's a few different modes available. There's versus computer, two-player, pass and play and online. The pass and play and the two player are similar in that um, it's all local multiplayer. The pass and play only requires one controller. You could use the keyboard or like an Xbox 360 controller. If you do choose the two player option, one player will use the keyboard and the other one will use the Xbox 360 controller. I think what we'll do though is just do the versus computer. And whenever you do that, you'll be able to choose between different settings. Uh, there's color, random, first move, random, difficulty, and you'll be able to choose between different uh, settings here. Like there's queen, hive mind, uh, broad, yeah, so drone. I think the easiest one is broad, so I, I guess we'll do that one. Game modifiers, none. You could, if you want to, enable like tournament rules. There's also the different expansions I was talking about earlier, though. You'll have to pay money in order to enable those. So I think what we'll do is we'll uh, leave the game modifier free and just leave it as is and hope for the best. Okay, so here we are. Click a tile stack to place a new piece. And you'll be able to see on the left-hand side here and on the right-hand side what pieces are remaining as far as placement goes. Um, so I guess what we'll do, it looks like he put down, looks like he's the dark color. I guess we'll put down, um, hmm, what do we want to put down? I think we'll do the beetle first. Now for the very first move, um, you can place a piece onto the board that is touching your opponent. But after that, you have to put down a piece that is only touching your color while not touching his color. Okay. So it looks like he put a beetle down there. I'm going to go ahead and put, um, I think I'll put a grasshopper down here. And I'll try to do my best to explain what all of these different pieces do once I start moving them around. All right. Um, 
Another important um, movement rule is that you have to move your pieces or place pieces in such a way to where there's always one central hive. You cannot uh, make a move to where pieces would branch off and form their own. So all of the pieces have to be connected in some way. All right, um, I think we'll put down one of these guys here. Actually, I prefer to do that last because these guys are very mobile. Um, I think we'll do another beetle. Now the fourth piece has to be the bee, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'll put that um, back here. All right, now, one of the nice things about the grasshopper is that he basically jumps over pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on my grasshopper and bring him back here just to sort of trap his queen bee from moving anywhere else. Because if he were to move this queen bee, my grasshopper would then be separated from the hive and that's obviously a no-no. So let's go ahead and uh, put... Uh... I'd like to do the same thing with this, but... Well, actually... Now the spider moves three spaces, so... I put him back here. There we go. And then if I bring him around like so... Bring him on this side. Let's do that. Alright, looks like he's bringing his spider up, trying to get around my queen. Um, I think I'll put another spider down here. And he's moving back there. And that's basically preventing my queen from moving anywhere, because again, if I move my queen or slide it over, this spider will be by itself, and that's against the rules. So let's go ahead and move this down here. Now it's very possible for pieces to become trapped like this. Whenever this happens, like you've got a, a spider here and a grasshopper here, this, the queen bee can now cannot move um, in between these two pieces because that would then in turn move these pieces here. The only piece that can really jump over other pieces is the beetle. And maybe I should have saved one of my beetles, but uh, because if I, I can't move the hot or I can't move the beetle here because that would separate these three pieces in the upper right from the hive, moving this beetle. Yeah, again, would separate everything. So I think what I'll do is I'll put, um, I think I'll put a grasshopper here, and then I could jump the grasshopper over on an, another turn up like this. Okay. Now these, um, yeah, these ants are very powerful. They can basically move as many spaces as they want to along the outside of the hive. So definitely a powerful piece. All right, uh, what else do I want to do here? I think what we'll do is we'll put... I guess we'll put this down here, and then I'll move it on a future turn. I'm going to move it along the outside. I guess we'll put it here. Okay, and all I need to do is get another piece here and I'll be good to go. Now the problem here is that trying to get a piece into this spot may be tough. I may end up having to, I can't put a grasshopper here and then jump here because there is a black piece sitting here. So I guess what I could do is put a grasshopper down here and then jump over like so. I really would have liked to have shown you what the beetles do, uh, but unfortunately both of my beetles are trapped where they are. I guess what I could do is put like another piece down and then free them up. Like if I put put this down, actually I don't know if I can put them down anywhere now that my queen is back here trapped like this. If I put an ant here, then everything still becomes trapped. Uh, let's try this. You know what, let's just go ahead and put the grasshopper here. And yeah, maybe I'll show you the beetle on another game. If we jump over here, there we go. Alright, so you can view stats after you're done here. I haven't played this game very much. I, I prefer the tabletop version just because I have it and uh, it just it's fun feeling the actual pieces. But the nice thing about computerized versions of board games is that there's no cleanup involved. You can just exit the game and be done with it. And it doesn't take up as much space in your uh, cabinet. Alright, so let's go ahead and just play again one more time.
It looks like he's putting a spider down. I'll go ahead and put uh, something different down. Why don't we do a spider? Mimic that. All right, and I'll go ahead and put... Um, let's put an ant over here. And I'll go ahead and put a grasshopper here. All right, so there is his bee. I have to put mine down. I think what I'll do is I'll put my B here. All right, he's already trying to surround me here. Now, in theory, I could do... I could bring my ant down here and trap his B from moving. Or I can try and put something else down. Let's go ahead and put down uh, a beetle. Yeah, so as you can see here, he's now moving his... Beetle. I'm going to go ahead and put mine over top like that. Yeah, now, whenever a beetle is on top of another piece, they are trapped. Just like he trapped my beetle and my spider underneath there. Alright, so I think what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and put down a... If I put a grasshopper down here, I guess I could jump all the way over here. Let's go ahead and do that. It looks like he's moving back here. Uh, what else can I do? I could, in theory, move this grasshopper, like, so I could jump him down here. Alright. So, now he's moving away from me. Let's go ahead and put down some more pieces. Um, let's go ahead and put down a spider. Let's see, in the future, move one, two, three, that would work. Spiders move three spaces along the outside of the hive like this. So, I think that'll work. Wow, you really don't want to be moving. Okay, so I think, actually, no, I'm going to go ahead and use, no, I can't move the grasshopper because that would separate these from the hive. So if I do this, if I put down, uh, actually, no, let's go ahead and put the spider on the other side. Now, in theory, they won't be able to move. At least this bee won't be able to, because if the bee moves from here, the spider gets separated. Now, I am a little bit in trouble here because uh, most of my queen is surrounded here, so I need to really think about all right, let's go ahead and move this ant up, just to free up some space. We'll move them, I think we'll move them down here. All right. And I can't move my queen, unfortunately, because that would separate everything from the hive down here. So let's go ahead and move my, I could move my beetle up if I want to. Or, what else could I do? I'm going to try and get my pieces down here as quickly as possible. Alright, if I put down... If I put this down here, and I can move my ant up, surround them a bit more. So now it's going to be a race to see who can surround each other more quickly. Let's go ahead and put another ant on this side. Yeah, he's really, yeah, <laughs> he's really uh, anxious to get my queen there, so, all right. So, I guess the question is, what would, what would be the best move? All right, if I do one there, and then bring my ant down here, I need to fill this side. Uh... Okay, let's go ahead and put the um, grasshopper here. That way I can jump into this empty space. All right, so the grasshopper, yeah, just... All right, so now I am surrounded on four sides here. All right, let's go ahead and start bringing these guys down. Um, I'll go ahead and jump the grasshopper over here. Oh, now he's moving. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Oof, it's going to be tough. around you again. You might actually win this. Let's go ahead and surround you on this side. Hmm. Can't move that. Uh, let's go ahead and bring you down there. 
Yeah, my queen's, yeah. No freedom to move. Like I said, you can't move out of uh, this kind of situation where there's just this little hole there uh, because that would move all the other pieces. So, um, well, I'm kind of screwed here. Um, <laughs> I need to find a way to connect. I mean, I have this beetle. I guess I can move him down and hope for the best. All right, he's brought a beetle over here. Let's go ahead and connect. Let's put a beetle here, bring it down so I can connect these two. All right, now I have the freedom to move these pieces. I one more and I'm dead. Yeah. Let's move the ant on the other side. Nope. Oh, okay. It's going to be close. How am I going to do this? All right, so... Is there a way? Can't move that one. I need to find a way to jump a grasshopper into this spot. To do that, I need to find a way to connect these hives. Um, can't move that. If I move this down here... Yeah, he's going to win on the next move. He's got a grasshopper sitting right there. Yeah, this might be game over. There's no way I could win in one move. At least I don't think so. Hmm. Unless there's a way to get my queen out of there. I mean, maybe if I had the beetle, I could have put him on top of this grasshopper. But too little, too late. Alright, so I guess we'll move the beetle down let him kill me. And that'll be it. Yep, good game. Alright, I want revenge. One more game. Alright, so I guess what we'll do is we'll put the spider down. Alright, he's got an ant. I'll put uh, the beetle close by. Spider. I'll go ahead and put... Let's put one of these down. Alright, Queen, we'll go ahead and put you down back here. Okay, let's go ahead and trap his Queen straight away. We'll put this ant on the other side like this. Now if he tries to move the Queen, it'll separate everything from the Hive. And it looks like he has a similar plan. Alright, um, let's go ahead and get a Grasshopper down here. And... If I put it here... In theory, no, I can't move this now. Oh, actually, I could. If I move the queen over here. There we go. Yeah, now I can't move the queen. And now I just sort of uh, effectively trapped my grasshopper, because now I can't move that. So that was a mistake on my part. I could put another... What could I put down? I could put another grasshopper down. Put him down. If I put him here... He'll be able to jump there, or if I put him here. Okay, let's put the grasshopper down up here. Actually, over here. Then I could jump over, trap him on this side. All right, next up, I'll go ahead and put... So put on another ant. Love these things. Trap you on this side. And... Beetle, beetle, beetle. Guess I'll put you there. And... Grasshopper. Put you here. Okay, I think I got this. I'll go ahead and put the beetle. Now, the beetle is one of the uh, exceptions to the rule of not being able to slide pieces into places that um, you normally wouldn't be able to do. Um, like in this particular instance, I think it would be okay. It's kind of hard to tell at this point. But had there been a piece right here, the beetle has the nice uh, benefit of being able to jump on top of pieces and then down into uh, a trapped, uh, trapped area. 
But in this case, I'm just going to slide them over like that. There we go. All right, one more left. So let's just jump this and be done with it. All right. Okay, and there you have it, a quick look at Hive. Hopefully you found this enjoyable and informative. Um, I didn't cover all of the rules found in the manual, but it's pretty easy to play. If you like abstract games like chess or checkers um, and are looking for something different, uh, something with a little bit of an uh, insect feel about it, uh, Hive is definitely the way to go. If you want to see more of this game, let me know. I'll be happy to accommodate. If you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my official website, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.